Hey guys, welcome back to day 17 of staying home, staying safe, and staying sane. So I hope you guys are well. Um, it's pretty late today. Sorry that the video is coming on so late, um, but my kids are still up and I'm pretty exhausted. Anyway, um, okay, so this video goes out to our teenagers today. Okay, so parents with teenagers or teenagers watching, uh, please share this video, this video with your friends and um, pay attention, okay? So here goes. Um, when I work with teenagers, we usually tackle like three specific things. Um, most teenagers that come in for coaching, it's either confidence issues, okay? Their self-confidence is pretty low. Um, we get anxiety a lot. Okay, stress around exams, uh, around tests, um, basically like um, keeping themselves up to date with all the things they have to do because they really do have a lot going on as teenagers. I mean, it's not just um, schoolwork. It's like all these extra activities. It's like the social part, you know, and anyway, um, it's kind of. A whole thing that it, it has to do with like time management, being able to say no. And like, it's not just a matter of anxiety. It's a matter of being able to control what happens within their life. Anyway, the third one that I see a lot with teenagers is um, their friendship issues. Okay. There are teenagers that do not have friends. Um, they don't have a friend that they would actually call their own, someone they can trust, someone they can, they can confide in, um, someone that they can just, you know, share with, you know, it could be sharing a thought. It could be sharing a meal. It could be sharing a movie, your time. Everyone needs this. So imagine how hard it is if you're a teenager and you don't have that. Well, there are a lot of teenagers that don't have that in the world today, okay? And um, as a coach, our job is to actually help these kids open up, uh, lower their expectations from people. Now, we're not saying we lower our standards. We don't lower our standards as human beings, but they lower their expectations. Sometimes these kids have really high expectations and um, they become very judgmental. So in general, anyone, like even us at our age, like I'm almost 40, at this age, it's not easy to actually create new relationships if you have really high expectations and if you are completely judgmental of everyone, okay? It's kind of, it's, bit, it's a bit more of um, not setting your standards low. That has nothing to do with it. It's a bit more of like seeing, you know, who you suit, who you get on with, like, does your character match or not? And then just actually moving into a relationship and we're talking about friends, moving into a relationship and just accepting someone for who they are and what they are and not expecting, like you don't go there to actually get, you're not going to go to fill up. You, you know, a relationship is about being with someone, spending time with someone, getting to know someone, enjoying their company, doing things together, them getting to know you, you opening up as a person, having the other person open up. It's about so much more. It shouldn't be about what I go to gain and what can I get from this relationship. So as coaches, we, we help these kids, um, as I said, not lower their expectations, but open up you know, to open up, to love themselves for who they are, to be able to be vulnerable and to make it okay, because it is okay, you know, for us to be vulnerable in our lives. This is what creates magnificent friendships. This is what creates bonds that never die, that never fail, because you grow to love someone as they are with their faults. And when you can do that, you see beyond everything else. Like the only thing you care about is supporting them and loving them and their joy is your joy. And it's like this mutual thing, which what can be more beautiful than that? So when we, we like, we interact with these kids, okay, as coaches, and these three things, they keep coming up over and over again. And like the one interacts with the other, like one kid may come in for confidence issues. And then you'll see that their confidence issues has to do with the fact that since 
um, a young age, they haven't been able to have steady relationships like good friends. Um, then you see the other thing pop up of how they're suffering with anxiety attacks uh, when they have exams. And it's like this whole cycle, the one thing connects with the other and the other. And, you know, it's like this, this cycle that keeps coming over and over again. So anyway, what I like to show these kids and like point out to them is what if, let's say, what if we choose to see everything that we consider bad, okay, that comes, that pops up into our life. What if we choose to consider it as a chance for us to actually grow, to grow as people, to grow as souls? What if we actually choose to see whatever comes up that we don't like, that we don't feel comfortable with as a challenge, okay? And I give them like this short prayer, okay? I like to call it a prayer because I think it kind of, it guides you, okay? If you take a moment when you feel overwhelmed, like let's say I'm a teenager and I'm overwhelmed because my friends aren't treating me well and I feel stressed at school, and I have low confidence to feel and for me to actually fixate on the fact, fact that my friends aren't treating me well and maybe something's going on. Maybe I'm not good enough, okay? I tell them to actually pause and to sit in silence for a while and say to themselves, okay, or to the universe or to God or whatever they believe in, to ask and say, okay, so if this situation is what it is and I'm meant to actually learn something from this. What is it that I'm meant to learn? What is it that I'm meant to see that I'm actually missing in this moment? It's not going to upset me, but I'm missing something. So what is it that I need to learn? And they pause and they sit with that for a while. And then they begin to think and they go in a step deeper and it takes you in a step deeper of, why am I being so insecure? Why am I acting this way? Maybe it's not them at all. Maybe it's just me getting all insecure. What am I insecure about? What is it that bothers me so much suddenly? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Anyway, when I give them this assignment, okay, they always come back the next week with like this full detailed report of what came up for them. Try this with your kids or teenagers. Do it by yourself at home and give yourself a chance to sit with the things that feel the most challenging. Sit with the things that feel the most challenging and ask yourself, so what, what is this meant to teach me? Am I meant to learn something from this? Okay, all right, I'm open to it. What am I meant to learn from this? And then allow yourselves to see what comes up. It removes the drama of why is this happening to me and am I the only one going through this and me, 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 me. It removes all of that and it actually helps the kids get their mindset off themselves. It allows them to actually feel that maybe this is about me, but I'm meant to be learning something here. There's more to this. Anyway, use this with your kids, teenagers, pass it on to your friends and do it as an assignment. Work with it tonight. See what happens. See what comes up. Have a great evening. I love you guys. Bye.